Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, also people on YouTube, don't forget always to thumb up and leave the commentary below this, the, the video. This is game number one. We have the Canadian trying to get into another main event. I believe that that, that uh, situation that we were commenting for so long about psychology factor, chart, uh, Islam getting nervous, he has been in the Red Bull World of Five. He made into the main event probably that's going to give him some extra boost, extra confidence, and then he's going to be ready to rumble. Let's see. Chart was the last year, the surprise, as you all know, and if you didn't know, now you know, and he got some experience as well, so he wants to be in the main event too. This is potentially a, a main event a match. And then I want to ask you guys, people that is in the stream, what do you prefer? Indians or Lithuanians? It's important. You have to tell me. Indians or Lithuanians? Poof, it's hard to say, but if Lithuanians get the relics in Castellage, how are you going to be able to, to, to hold that the spike power they, they get with the, with, the, with the relics? So difficult, even if you get great camels, right? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Chart and Islam. As a blue Islam is in the south, he got gold in front, and this map generation... A lot of wood, but very open and not super big. Potentially with a good good position here to go for aggressive game. But there's a lot of trees here too. Okay. The map for chart. He got three wood lines not very far. Yeah, it is a nice map. I mean, you can wall, but it's not easy because there's a lot of gaps, as you can see. There's a lot of gaps. Okay. I just wanted to, to show you guys how crazy can be the players, seriously. And if you check here, in the second in the second game, in the second monitor, we see how Strike Dog has done. Look at the cast that he has done. That's a cast of the Strike Dog on Bruce base. That's that's insane. He got a castle also to defend, but Strike Dog has made a castle on his face. Literally on his face and trying to, to, to take the game that way. The problem is that Blue has an insane boom with 105 villages. So if he hold that castle, or he, better say, if he put that castle down, Bra might be in the main event. A straight dog that is a very, very fun player to watch. Seems to be close to be bye-bye. Being said that, we focus now. We focus now on our main game. Because... As we expected, because Chart is not a lamer, he's playing a standard. Chart, and now I zoom in a little. Mm, you can see how Chart with Lithuanians to in the mill. Trivial is on wood. Thank you, Tony. Welcome to the channel, amigo. Yeah, he's gonna go up super fast up. Maybe 18 population. He's, he only have two villages in the queue. So I believe he can do that. He's waiting a little bit. Oh, no. And now he's going to make a perfect Lyrian. No, no, he's doing more villages. What the hell? A lot more. Probably he will castle, uh, cancel some. And yeah, he's going to go scout. Slam will go scout with Indians. Cheaper villages, remember. That's always help helpful. And the map... I don't know which has a, a, a worse map. I like the map for, for Chard with goal at the back. Also really very flat, because we have seen how there's a lot of maps that are more hill. It seems that this generation is, except those small hills here, it's also more flat for Islam too. Well, he has a goal, a secondary goal at the back. is fine then. And Islam is up. This is actually surprising for me. Islam is going up 19 population, even faster than Chart, who is going to go up 20. Okay. Interesting. Obviously, with Lithuanians, you want to take advantage. He's not getting any any early advantage. I like these lumber camps. You can wall easily here and then some houses, maybe. We'll see. Everything is open for now. Going to go scout. Uh, let's see the Canadian if he's going to play with his usual and really smooth gameplay. Bill orders. His bill orders are just fantastic, honestly. He's walling here, but... Yeah, blue. Slam is not finding any... 
Any malicious yet? Okay. For release on wood. Need to be careful. Well, he's completely safe for now. He has wall in case that he was coming with militias. And since there's no lame, no drash, standard dark age, very smooth. Look at this eight minutes up. Super fast. Of course, Charles is gonna be very fast too. Now he did the, bar the barrack, and now Slam knows that he's not doing anything, you know? It's it's just going a standard. He's going to wait, gonna make a stable, and he's not letting him make it. Ah, oh, he could avoid it a little bit more, a little bit longer, but he didn't. Now stable. And he's gonna be a scout more or less at the same time. Now the question is, are they gonna play safe? Four or five scouts trying to wall and then go castles, or they will do also RT range. Age. Honestly, with this goal in front, it's true that he has that goal at the back. And he's not walling anything, so. <laughs> yeah, now Chart is walling with houses. Idle time. Oh, he's housed it. That's not good, Chart. He's housed it. Yeah, either TC, and now it's one volley behind, pretty much. He's gonna have 22 soon. There you go. It's not one, but half a volley. You, you can see the time. Well, all these uh, small details matters. Also, when you're housed, you stop producing army, which is definitely not the greatest. Be need to be careful. Be careful with that hill. Okay. He has one, two, three farmers. He's gonna palisade this area, doing the house. He could probably make a palisade here, but he probably didn't explore either. No, he didn't explore. Okay. I'm just checking in the second monitor. An amazing play by Brewer, really. <laughs> He's playing so good, man. He's playing so good, but we need to focus here because they are now walling a little bit. Very conservative slam, not taking any risks, just staying at home. And Char doing the same. Then, yeah, they are playing really. You see, you can make the best map ever, but if the, the players are playing uh, defensive, what you can do? Nothing. We can't do anything, you know? If the players are playing defensive, they are just staying at home. They don't want to take any risk. They know it's an important match, and they are not taking any risk. Six scouts are going, but he got five scouts, some spear. He's going to be fully walled, and then they are going to go castle. It's very fast, because most likely, they won't do anything else than a scout. What? That was a sloppy, if you ask me. Okay. Well, he's inside. He got the spears. He needs to be careful. Trying to get some battle. Not happening. There's some heal advantage, but he's losing quite a lot of HP. Resources. They are going well for both. And it's with mm, a small advantage because of... Oh, idle TC for Islam as well now. Interesting. Yeah, they, they are going to go Castellage. And then in Castellage... Mm, I, I don't know if I prefer Lithuanians here. I insist. Imagine if he's going just monks and maybe pikes. He's doing the will borrow. He's now going a, a little bit more aggressive, coming with the spears. This is more, more, more standard. A lot of scouts now, but spears as well. So you can't really take the fight. It's three spears here. Now nah, it's better position for chart. Also, his army is full HP basically. Well, few, few scouts with uh, lower HP here. All right. Stable now he's doing the RT the RT range. That surprised me a little, not gonna lie. Doing the blast. Maybe he's doing the RT range thinking in castle age. Because 
Yeah, he's doing the archery range too. Because uh, Indians can go also uh, cav arches, now that I'm thinking. And he's doing a double archery range. Whoa, interesting. And guys, bro has done... Bro has done into the main event. Probably, I don't know, but after several attempts, Mr. Bra, the Brazilian, is in the main event, in the main event for the first time. Because he was close during Red Bull, was close in other tournaments as well. Yeah, has been always very close, but Bra, the Brazilian, did it. He did it, and he is in the main event, amigos. Whoa! Stray Dog, that was a surprise last year. Feel sad for him because he provided an incredible interview, you know? But now we have a new, a new face that we're going to see. Remember, main event, all the games with webcams, okay? All the games, the players will have webcams here. I will not be here, I know, you will miss me, but players will be one here, another in the other spot, special setup and everything. So, we're gonna see. Okay. Triple Archie range skirmishers. Okay. He's going to skirmishes with triple Archie range? No, I believe he will go cab archers. And now crossbows. Interesting. Both are going up almost the same. Four villains ahead, but doesn't matter. He got Will Barrow. Okay. Yeah, Char did really well the last edition, but they are not attacking. This has been the most passive game since we started the qualifications yesterday and today. Obviously, this can change. It's also true that the castle is, has been very fast, 20 minutes for both players. And now, it should be different. Mm, army composition. Well, Crossbow and Botkin, if he's going at least skirmishes, <laughs> at least skirmishes is gonna be difficult for chart, so maybe Siege Workshop is gonna be needed, but he's doing university. Okay. It's true that the micro is gonna be crucial, but also this chemistry is with Botkin as well. Ballistic is very important. He has the resources, doesn't have the gold yet. Not doing knights. Those skirmishes are just killing the spears, doing better slam, in my opinion. He got the heal, yes, but those spears are bye-bye. And scouts and archers versus scouts and skirmishes, not looking good. But... Bozo, but... As I told you, I, I don't agree with the ballistic here. I think with this situation, a siege workshop probably is better. He's trying to kill the skirmishers. Obviously, the crowbars do the job, but now skirmishes will kill. Whoa, that's a very important advantage now for, for Slam. He's going to try to kill the scouts, and he will. Or maybe not. Okay. One, and he could kill another. The skirmishes just kill. Doing now the knights and sending a few crossbows. It's also true that the skirmishes are more a, def a defensive unit, but now he's switching into cab arches. Slam got... Six villains less with Will Barrow. He got quite a lot of idle TC. Well, it seemed that he was just micro like God, but then idling TC <laughs> like God as well. Anyway, two extra tone centers at the back. Sending few crossbows. Gonna try to make, in mind if he's going here, gonna make damage. For sure gonna make damage. He's doing now skirmishers, but he doesn't have a least skirmishers. So now he's doing, all right. Mangonel is going to be there. This is what he needed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if he has Siege at home, he's gonna be fine. He got two Knights only. And now doing Skirms. Remember that the Skirms is an, an Spears from Lithuanians. Pikes are faster. So, 
Let's see. It's also true that he did the university, guys, for nothing. You know, he did the university for nothing. He got to get some good, some good micro here. And he can take the wood in the other side. He's fine. I mean, the 3TC is going to give him a lot of protection. And here, he's killing one, two, and almost three villages now. So Slam is in real problems. It's in real, real problems. Why he's not killing the villages? I don't know. Kill the villages, man. Chart. What's going on? Yeah, the army composition for the for the Japanese player is just amazing, and he has three tone centers. Kill another villager. Slam is in big problems right now. Eleven villages, even if you got Will Barrow, is is really big. Oh boy. Third tone center on the left. Score is still very close. Slam got more army, yes, but now with the mangonels, with the scorpions. Can be crazy. He got two knights that he forgot about it. And those two knights might help a lot. If he's sending the knights, he's gonna kill the skirmishers. But he forgot. Literally forgot. Going for another mining camp. And don't forget that the relics are so important in this matchup. He can see how many. One, two, three relics he can see. And they are not really difficult to get. Still, slam with more army, but his economy, I insist. Oh my god! No, 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 Oof. Well, he split those units very fast. He's doing quite a lot of cab archers. But I insist his economy is a disaster. And I'm telling you why. Four farmers. Guys, four farmers. Okay, but his micro is just on point. Whoa! Ho, ho. Well... The micro is just amazing here, but the skirmishes are doing the job. Those skirmishes not even plus one armor, while Slam got plus two, plus two, and bloodlines. Yeah, but those are so cheap. Three farmers, guys. Look at the Slam economy, guys. What do you think about the Slam economy? Arena economy, clown economy, three TCs, four farmers. Crazy. Really crazy. 15 villages behind. Look, his economy, man. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Well, I'm telling you something. With that economy, it won't be possible for Islam to keep going. Like, if he's doing some more siege and holding this situation, okay, he's going. No ballistic. 800 gold. That he has a market. Man, his economy is terrible. Zero wood, zero foot, 700 gold. Now the knights are there. The skirmishes are also there. Well, those knights don't have any upgrade, but... Yeah, ballistic now. Coming with the one scorpion. The problem is that the army he's using, chart is so cheap. So, with 70 villiers, look at the boom. 70 villiers. If he now is doing double stable and span knights, how do you stop this? Skirmish is a knight. And then even go and take the relics. I mean, I don't know. It's a weird game. Sorry, guys. I almost killed my chair. <laughs> Guys, the rating is not that important. The rating in the ladder is so relative because it depends who you play, how you get the rating. It doesn't matter. In a tournament, at this level, anything can happen. Obviously, Slam is the favorite. He's higher seat. I don't remember even what is his seat, but he's one of the best for sure. And we'll see here. Well, a lot of Kavars is now doing a good micro. Slam is still with the score lead. But, I don't know if it's going to work. The Knights, not even. Bloodlines, he's doing more Scorpions, not really. 23 villages more. Yeah, and with Ballistic, Will Barrow now. Ooh, quite, quite late. Now it's starting to look better, the economy here. 
Yeah, but the problem is that chart economy, just doing skirmishers, is an oath to go up to Imperial with 32 farmers, man. 32 farmers, 12 farmers. It's just, I mean, just check the distribution. That's the good thing with capture age. We can see everything. I don't even need to cast. I can shut up. I shouldn't say that because you would tell me, shut up then, man. No, no. Th sorry, guys. I need to talk. <laughs> Skirmishes and scorpions. Okay. If Chad wins KOTD, will you stop streaming? Okay. There's only one way that I can stop streaming. And is that internet go down. Nothing else. I love this game too much. You know? So, won't stop streaming, guys. I'm sorry. Fortown Center is still 23 villages more. Chart need to do what? More siege. Yeah, more siege. And maybe go for the damn relics. Here we are. He's finally attacking his land base. With Ballistic, those skirmishes can do damage. He can take some villain, but no. He's going back. He got the plus two, plus two. His economy is very, very good. 22 villains more. And now military, as you can see, more. No, the same than Islam. Damn, the population is a big difference now. Big, big difference. Islam has got a lot of idle TC. Obviously, some TC idle for chart as well. But quite more. Guys, chart is on the way to Imperial. Damn, he's on the way to Imperial with a fantastic, you know, an amazing a macro game. Yeah, he's microing good. I mean, Slam is microing great, but now Chart is also dancing. They are both in the disco. Look at this. Okay. He got the hill and trying to kill each other with the skirmishers. Slam will win, but he's winning the battle. He's not winning the war. Because now, when he's doing the plus three, can you tell me how Slam with this army is going to do any damage? When you see that the Lithuanians is going to be in Imperial and he get the plus three attack. How are you going to stop that? Almost impossible. Hand card now. Mining stone and stone. He's doing the barrack. More barracks. Okay. He's going to go halves and skirmishers. Unbelievable. But with halves and skirms, actually, what this lamp can do? He's coming with a castle forward. Okay. Trying to create some chaos trying to do something but there's a lot of skirmishes here and in this spot well it's a good castle but i'm telling you something slam got zero villages on gold why i don't know because he has this goal at the back he's gonna mine a stone he has gold in front and he got a lot of army then he's deleting and doing even more forward my question is he got it i'm not gonna shoot another i'm gonna kill it Kill it. It's not shooting, man. It's slow. He's here raiding. He has to be careful with those. Army more for slam. Trying to put the aggression. Finally, being really, really proactive. But if he's doing chemistry, might be able to kill those. Because Lithuanians got bombard cannons, right? So I believe that with bombard cannons can do the job. We will see if he's going to even buy a castle. Doing the plus three. Slam my thinks. What? He's in Imperial. And now what I do? Okay, he's gonna try to raid. He's gonna buy the stone. He is buying the castle, guys. Delete the farm and make here. You see? Menstradamus. But now he's blocking himself. The thing is, with the skirmishes plus three and half our deers, should be able to stop this. So many villages. The skirmishes are there. He need this castle up. If he's not doing the castle up, Whoa! But he need to go back or he will lose everything. Everything. Need to go back. And he's going back. The score is still increasing. Billy is different. Only seven. He's here with more army and killing villages. Ballistic and plus three just doing the job. There you go. He's attacking all the time. And now what? Slam has 13 farmers. That's the main issue here. 13 farmers. He's trying to buy resources or stop just doing villages. I don't know. He might go up to Imp at some point, but 
It's quite a lot of time. And now traps that castle will go down. The score say that Chad is ahead. And you know why it say that? Because he's really ahead. <laughs> I love to troll. Okay. Because he's really ahead, man. He's really ahead. Trebuchet, take the castle, and that's it. <laughs> Bulletin, como estas? Oh my god, the subscriber gift, let's go. I mean, I know that my explanation is not so deep, but it's so obvious why he's ahead. But, Slam is on the way to Imperial, let's see. He has the mobility in those Cav Archers, you know? He has the mobility in those Cav Archers, and that can be deadly. He needs to put some values on the TC. Actually, Chard is starting to lose so many units. Slam is doing a great job. He needs to repair that castle forever, but that's the problem. That he has time, and now the answer from Slam is cavalry, camels, light caps, hussars, with 20 farmers. When the other guy got halves, there's no relics. The Trebuchet are going to take this castle down, and now Chard is going to make another castle. Chard is playing safe, not very aggressive, but he got... Very good decisions. So clean the gameplay. Very, very smooth. Very, very smooth. Slam now has a little bit less population, less villages, and the same army. But if he's losing this castle and he's taking a lot of stone. Okay, well, Slam is trying to get time. And he's actually getting good time. That's why now he's sending his skirmishes forward. I like it. Okay. Three traps. That castle will go down. He's just wasting, well, wasting, expending all the stone. And now he's coming. Chard is doing chemistry, plus four. And honestly, I think he should do, at some point, Hazars. He has 50 farmers. And please, take the damn relics. I probably think that Slam is surprised with Chard gameplay. He's playing really unconventional. Because usually with Lithuanians, do you see all the kind of, 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 of play style? But it's not happening here. It's definitely not happening. Those skirmishes with heal advantage and all the upgrades will do the domination. The total domination. Light caps. Chambered in armor. I mean, Hazards is going to be great. But I believe that now uh, Chart will do Hazards as well. Tower shields. Oh my god. What a great upgrade. If I will remember what, what that upgrade is doing. <laughs> okay. And now with those halves and skirmishers. Winged Hazards is just amazing, you know? It's just great. Okay, Hazards and Skirmishers. He's gonna take it. What? Banarion! Thank you for the donation, man. First donation of the day, amigos. If I didn't miss, I don't know. Sorry, guys, for the alert. Hopefully, you understand. I'm focusing completely on the casting. But, guys, chart economy is just... And now, seriously, without jokes, is amazing. 1,200 foot, 1,200 gold. Fantastic. Really, really good. You know, look at those halves. Okay. And. Mm -mm -mm. Well, well, well. Those light caps. He's doing a good job here, Slam. He has the heal advantage. He's microing really, really well. Really, really well. But he has this economy. What is he going to do? He's going to go latis. Well, look at that economy, man. I mean... Paladins! Whoa! I didn't see this coming, you know? It's going to go Paladins. We don't see this so often in 1v1. He's gonna go Paladins, man. Well... Cavaliers, Chain Barden Armor, that castle, that TC shouldn't be up if Blue notice. But I can't believe... That the slam is the steal in the game. Honestly, is he gonna throw? I don't know. He's losing that castle. And I'm telling you something. Chart is still not taking any relic. When he got quite some good advantage. That castle is going to go down. He's coming with the four trebuchets. He needs to repair. He's losing some villages. That is is not tap. It's still the score say that he's really ahead. Population is the same. I don't feel that he's that ahead anymore. He might do the Paladin, but if you check, he's not even mining gold. Zero villages on gold. Doing now the bloodlines. And this is how are these skirmishers sending all the army? I don't know. I really don't know. The trebuchets are helping, but those halves 
from Lithuanians are amazing. The Cavaliers are coming and now he can send the police and make that one. Husbandry, played by the armor, he's gonna go win Hazards that are great. But man, he's holding somehow and now raiding. Now raiding and Islam is losing Villiers. I like it that. The Villiers is gonna make the TC and uh, I don't know man, so weird game that Chard is unable to finish 2,000 score difference. It looks like he's, I don't want to say losing, it looks like he's not really dominate, dominating and then the score is 2,000 ahead. What the hell? Slam only 106 villages. His economy very weak. That's the main problem he has all the game. Very weak economy. We will see in the statistics. He's still taking villages. And now, honestly, Look at the winged hazards, man. Winged hazards, we're gonna see those. Those are Red Bull hazards, man. <laughs> Look at those. Red Bull medallas, amigos. Okay, well, they're beautiful, they're pretty. That's for sure. So let's go and see what he's going to do with that army. 70 military, you know? 70 military, guys. 70 military, insane. He's going to go back. Now it's a lot of army. It's really a lot of army. Yeah. It's really a lot of army and Islam won't be able to stop this. He's gonna take absolutely everything. And the Canadian is losing the first game because the Japanese, without taking any risk, got an insane macro during all the game. Great play by, by the Japanese. Not the most spectacular game to watch because he has been very, very safe. But who cares? This is a tournament, right? And he was trying to get the best decisions, and he really did it. And it's incredible how a player with Lithuanians has won the game, has won the game without taking a single relic, you know? Islamic economy has been a mess, I completely agree. Has been a total mess during the whole game. I don't know if he has got some warm-up game, but probably that's, that's a point to take in consideration that maybe it's the first game from Islam, you know? He's usually not not playing at this time. And let's see, because it has been a very weird game. I agree with some comments in the chat. You can see how Chard got 5,000 more wood, 11,000 more food. So, even if Islam got a lot more gold and stone, when you have this disadvantage, I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to win. Guys, game number two. Ladies and gentlemen, Berries and Franks, and I really like these matchups. I mean, cavalry thieves are very fun to watch, honestly. Usually, super aggressive, a lot of mobility, and this map, come on. Guys, look at this map. I mean, how you are not gonna play aggressive here? I'm just zoom out as much as possible. Slam as a blue. He got wood at the back, wood in front, berries in that area, but I mean, it's possible to wall all this. I mean, Maybe it's possible, but it's so open. And look at the map as a fourth chart. He got the goal at the back. He's like in a small crater, you see? Both are like in a small crater, as you can see, but one wood at the back, another one on the right, goal at the back. There's some other wood, but very far. They have to play with army. You know, if you go for walling in this map, you probably will die, just die, you know? Yeah, both got one wood at the back. Slam two, you know. The call on the left, Paris in front. Yeah, well, just go army. Then we have seen this matchup before and we saw how good Beres can be. So I will say that Beres here is a little bit favorite. Chart to, to get some advantage should play more aggressive than in the previous game. Because if he play defensively, like he did in the previous one. I don't know what you think, but I believe that Berbers should have here the edge and dominate. I don't know. You can tell your opinion in the chat. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Chart maps is uh, it's disaster. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, but, but the slam map is, except this wood line, it's also disaster if you ask me, you know? The goal is exposed. The berries are in front. I mean, they need to make some walls. But honestly, with army, and they might go scouts, 
this will be fine. Let me zoom in a, a, as well. I don't know if you have noticed, if you joined it yesterday, that I was using another trees. Today I'm using something more cool, standard, and all the graphics are on point today. Hopefully the sound and the quality in game is, is good. I've been checking before, but I think everything is should be all right. And now the elephant under the TC. Uh, this is looks standard opening with three villages on wood for both. So a scout's opening for sure. No problem. I was checking the feedback. I was checking the vote. I forgot yesterday to to put those because those are the the one that I used to play. And since I was playing uh, yesterday, also in the qualifiers, I forgot to switch. You know. Anyway, doing the mail now. Three villages on wood and going for the. Fog of War, he found already... Oh! Chart! Not Lemin, because he's luring right now. Okay. Well, Chart know exactly where Slam is. Slam is still didn't explore his opponent. He's still exploring all his base. Okay. Now let's see what is going to happen, amigos. Okay. I'm just checking. Give me a moment. Okay. That's it. I was just checking something about the, the results and everything. Okay, he's doing the loom now chart. Slam is gonna make a sick Lambrican, I believe. I don't think that he will go forward. Being really fast. 19 population. Wow. That's so smooth. That's really, really fast. Really, really fast. Four villages on berries. Yeah, it's fantastic. Really quick. He pushes some these, obviously. And now 20. 20 population with uh, with Franks is, is more standard, let's say. Thanks to the Frank, uh, Frank bonus. With the berries. Gathering food faster. Yeah. It's just more normal. Where he's going to make the barrack now? He's going to make here? Because this woodland is also very far. Let's explore his... Let's check his uh, slam point of view. Here's the wood. He see all those hills and the TC, the carpet. With the carpet, you know that the TC is there. Uh, kinda cheating. <laughs> and another one. It's not that they are too OP. But uh, you, you gather then 15% faster. I think it was before 25. Now it's 15% faster. You know, so overall, 15% 15 fa uh, 15 faster with four villages gathering the berries all the time. At the end, is quite a lot, right? Okay. Okay, we have five villages on berries. Did the stable. You can see how he's doing some... I like those buildings, those walls. It's very efficient. You don't have to go too greedy. Because honestly, if you go too greedy in these kind of maps, you're going to fail. You're probably going to fail. Of course, Collar and... Well, both are going to scout, doing small walls. He should wall exactly. Go through the other side. And now Palisade. Yeah, I like it. I like that. Yeah, you can see how we are watching two games and both scouts opening. That is not really common to see on the ladder and in all the tournaments. I believe that the scouts make feel comfortable when the map is that open. You have the mobility so you can attack, but you also can defend with the army, you know? Now he has to be careful, he got the spears. And remember that Frank's scouts got more HP. That means that right now he gets small advantage. 
It's also true that if the game goes for a longer battle in Feudal Age and he's doing the bloodlines, then Franks will fall behind. So, mm, I don't know if you want to go for few, uh, big feudal battles with Franks against Berbers. Don't think so, to be honest. Having a spear, he's going around. Need to put a spear in front. Is he gonna make any RT range? Not really. Only three, four farmers now. He's having more. And both with Dolly Dice and Horse Collar. Remember that Franks get Horse Collar for free. Uh oh. Well, but he's sending more spears. He's not gonna do any damage here. He shouldn't do any damage. It's three spears now. Doing a house and small palisade. No problem. He should make a house here, but he's not doing. He's chasing shadows. Where's the scout from? Uh, oh, he lost one here. He got only two scouts. Four scouts for a slam. Okay. And the spears will be bye-bye. This is open, I believe. Well, hard to say. Well, it's, it looks open. But he's not doing more scouts? Definitely not. Okay, okay, he's doing now another. Nice. Need to see more action. I'll look at the walls here. It's not fully wall, but uh, little by little. It's still fully open. Now going for the goal. Now that experience destiny is bye-bye. Is, is if you check guys the distribution, it's so clean for both. It's the same. 11, 17, now 10, 15. Now he just put a little bit more green. Going for the gold. Now it's, it's the same. He just probably stopped it now. Taking the berries. Exactly. That's why he's dropping a little bit too. But the scouts now are coming. They have to be careful. It's fully open. There's one spear, but the scouts are coming. Yeah, they are not doing a lot of farming. Oh, here is quite a lot now. Six scouts. Slam need to make the damage. He got the advantage, but there's a lot of spear. Yeah, but five spears too for Slam. Obviously, they are at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a lot. Still, he's double the scouts for Slam. And he has to be careful. If he's not doing the damage, the transition to Castle from, from Chart is going to be solid. Still trying to attack too. Coming with the scouts home. Ooh, okay. Love it. Playing on point. More macro-oriented these games. Much more different than the previous series. More probably trying to go for Castle Age. And you can see. It will go Castle Age very soon. We are 16 minutes. Blast with and that's it. Few spears, scouts. And on the way to Castle Age. Okay, gonna take one spear. But now, ooh. Ah, wasn't worth it. It wasn't worthy. Okay. Slam God will borrow. That's always great for the economy. But you check the resources. And he is... 200 foot behind. He's trying to wall. And that is a village that is going to be lost. Finally, one village down. It's a little bit sloppy because... I don't understand why he left... Uh, he left five spears pretty much in one spot. And then nothing in the other. Make no sense. Now he's splitting those... And trying to kill. This is really good for the Canadian. Taking a Villier now. This is second Villier. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. Looking better than a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, good micro with those scouts. Well, Chart is ch chasing shadows. Come on. He's on the way to Castle. Still, his macro is really good. He's going to lose that one. Ooh. No, no, no. I think he will lose. Got it. Okay. Well, obviously it was worth it. He keep him busy. He's not getting attack. And now both are going castle with 20 seconds difference only. Oh, got it. And palisade that area. Gonna put the goal. And now he will try to be fully wall. Well, if in this situation, guys... If Chart was, for example, RGD range, he could have done a massive damage to Islam. The problem is that this player is... Inst Instead of going for, for something original, they have been playing... Okay, Berbers, Franks, Scouts, like standard, right? Previous series we saw yesterday...
that they use it arches with Franks. And then the player don't don't expect you go arches, skills, and spears with the map he got, and he's dead. You know? With the scouts, well you have the mobility, but you make some spears and then you, you defend properly. Yeah. And easy, let's say. Oh, but this is a stuck, man. Focus. The problem here is that you check idols and you don't have idols. Look, zero idols unit. Do you think that's truth? It's a lie, man. They are stuck. Yeah, there you go. But they are two bullies idling all the time there. Don't call me Max. Okay, I won't call you Max. Okay, TC on the right. There you go. A skill bar in armor. And some spears here. I really think that the, the really meta meta players in this map, if the opponent is playing aggressive, the meta player will die. You know? It will die, is my opinion. But let's see. Because he's coming now with the knights. Double stable. Franks, Berbers with camels and double TC extra. Double stable, obviously, as well. And Pikeman Abrid for chart. Okay. It makes sense. It makes sense because he knows that his opponent is going to go either knights or probably camels. And now, I love it, Islam, what he's doing. Yes, he's doing the crossbows. He has four arches that's going to be crossbows. So, camels and crossbows to counter knights and pikes. Sounds good to me. Obviously, you will need a great micro. Otherwise, problems. Sending the pikes. That's a great TC. And he needs to send this out of this mini base. Okay. The pikes are there, but he can see those. Not really. Not really. The knights are coming. And those knights are plus one, plus one. Well, no plus one. Husbandry now, great for slam. He got quite a lot of camels. He need to go back. He can see the crossbows. That's really good for him. The problem is that he doesn't have husbandry. And now he's doing a siege workshop. He's building a siege workshop. Slam need to react really fast with those camels because there is quite a lot of pikes. Six pikes, eight camels. You need to go back and he's going back instantly. Now Chad need to go back instantly as well because the crows are coming. This is good amount of knights. What is he going to do? Mangolos or scorpions? Probably scorpions is better. Let's see. But... This battle, uh, I'm not sure about this battle. And he's going back. Scorpion or Mangonel? Mangonel, all right. Well, it will deal properly for sure. No, 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 heal advantage. Not an old crossbow also. Game very close. Super close, man. Trying to kill the pikes. Not able to do it. The crows are doing the job really doing the job but those knights are a little bit better those camels don't have the great upgrades definitely not need to go no 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 oh my goodness you can't lose pikes he didn't lose only one and now genitors what is some is click maybe okay i mean the genitors have been improved buff but uh, i don't like them too much definitely not Ooh. He's gonna make a scorpion or not? Not really. But he's still doing, guys, a lot of, lot of camels. He need more pikes. Because he's still spamming camels. He's 14 camels, 8 pikes. The pikes with forging only, no armor. And, uh, uh oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. He's gonna make another? No, not another. He need to defend the Mangonel. Wow, this army, the army composition, it can, I mean, if there is a bad battle for any of the players, it can be over, you know? Because this can snowball so much. Chart again with a good economy. 60 village, 56. Will Barrow? Okay, no Will Barrow. Okay. Uh oh. Well, he's microing well, splitting those units. Monastery, okay. 
One, two Mygonals. Well, that's a good point. Chad need that heal. But that's obvious, you know? And if he's taking a good battle and killing these camels, it's GG as well. For that reason, they are not taking the risk. Because they know that it's so damn important. Obviously, no, no, no. The crops are there to do the job. If he's doing a bada boom, it's going to be a disaster, you know? A real disaster. Don't go with that. The pikes, hmm, maybe he did the squires. That janitor in the hell. Now the monk in the damn hell as well. Got it. He's losing some units. Slam is coming with his... No, chain bard in armor. Whoa. Now that changed quite a lot. Those pikes kill the villager or not? Those pikes need some upgrades. The pikes won't be able to do the job against those cables anymore. Good mobility. Trying to go is still more villages for... For Char, but the camels are going. Where he's going with the knights? What, 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 what? I don't know. Okay, the pikes is doing more pikes or not? Yes, he is. But where he's sending? Uh oh, the battle will happen. It's not happening. They are not taking the battle because if they miss, oh baby, that was a good shot. Now, Crobo's having problems. More knights. Look at the goal. Quite a lot of gold. The monk is there. Not anymore. Ooh, he didn't kill it. No, no, no. It's a lot of army, man. 76, 43 army, 30 camels. 30 camels. But those camels against 15 knights and 15 pikes, sorry, and 13 knights plus two. Be careful. We'll see. We'll see what will happen. Obviously, the pikes don't have a lot of upgrades. That's true. He has a couple of monks. He's killing all those units. What composition do you prefer, guys? I see another stable and another barrack. What composition do you prefer? The boom is pretty much the same for both players. One with heavy plow, one with bozo. As you can see. It's true that the slam god will borrow. That should give him some good boost. And slam is better army composition? I'm not so sure. Because he doesn't have that many crossbows. If he loses the crossbows, chart kill everything. Oh my god. Okay, he's dancing with those. Okay, he's trying to dance. This this one monk, he has to be careful. Let's see the battle. Let's see the battle. Who is gonna take this battle? The monk is gonna do the job. He convert one knight. The pikes are coming. Ay ay ay! He's now killing his own pikes with the mangonels. He got four monks. The battle is amazing. The battle for Islam should be great. Let's see because he has the crossbows. Those pikes are not an oath. No no no! It's so many camels. So many camels. He's taking the battle or not? He's taking the battle or not? Islam is taking an amazing battle here. Killing absolutely everything with the camels and the crossbows. While Chart, with Chart army, guys. The crossbows, man. What a clean he did. Why he took the battle is something that we don't know. Because he was waiting for so long. And then, waiting for so long... Why he took that battle? Yes, I really think that he needed also more scorpions. And remember one thing that is very important. The pikes only got plus one, plus one. While those camels with the plus two and having... I mean, he still have 26 camels. Like, he didn't lose too much. He still, he's still waiting. The camels are going. They don't raid like the knights. But, chart with the same village, yes. But how do you stop the camels now? Not gonna be easy. Okay, he has to be careful. He's still coming with the knights. He has to be careful. He converted one, and now the knights trying to kill with the... Uh, nah, 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 he's having a lot. Slam is having a lot of army, and now what? He's bringing so many villages to make a castle in top of that hill. Okay, he's gonna buy the stone, I believe, but the Slam, zero villages of wood. I don't think he needs this, uh, this risk, but he can take the risk, because right now, Chart got zero army and the game it's over the canadian played very safe but he got an amazing army composition he took a couple of battles but that battle taking the hill like some people was pointing out in the in the chat took the game honestly chart in my opinion I even mean, if the series are one one he's playing the kind of game that i think islam feel comfortable i know that he won the first game but with this gameplay I don't know what you think, but I think Islam should be really favorite here. 
because I think playing a standard, he's a better player, honestly. Let's see. Statistics, military, he killed a lot more economy, also better economy, more food, quite more gold, wood a little bit less, and it's totally ready to make the castle, you know? Yeah. Without both Kinaro even, well, he didn't got a lot of, yeah, it was with Fletch in the slam. So the problem is that he didn't have so, much, so many knights and the pies were, were not abraded, you know? He got like 30 camels, 30 camels plus two. That was a lot. Game number three. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, no time to check anything. We are starting game number three. Maybe I was behind or and I didn't know. And let's go for the bettings. The score is 1 1. And now, bettings, three minutes. Chart with Byzantines, slam with Vietnam. Whoa, this matchup is so interesting. It is really, really interesting. Okay. Okay, and the map, how is the map? The map, he has one, two wood at the back, even three. I will say, well, this one is on a side. The goal is exposed. Stone in front of top of, the, uh, in top of that hill. Bear is uh, on a side as well. Not a terrible map for Chart, but have to play aggressive, probably. Walling here is a lot of, a lot of place to wall. Blue, slam. Now with wood on the left. Wood at the back as well. Another one on the right side. The goal is safe. This goal is very safe. I don't know if you agree, guys. But you wall this area and the goal is very safe. So close to the TC. It's nice. They got some hills. And, uh, well, it still need to be aggressive, you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah, remember, guys, that for the betting, Slam is option 1. Always chart option 2. Okay. I don't know why we are behind. Maybe, maybe we fall behind in the previous game. I didn't pause or anything. This is weird. Yeah, we're going a little bit faster, but now it's already live. Okay, we are live already. Perfect. 16 population both. And Islam is going now different strategy because he got Vietnam. So he's going malicious and he knows where to go. Directly going to attack. Okay. Directly going to attack. Yeah, with less walls, a lot more interesting games. And this this series has been, till now, the most, let's say, the most standard, the most passive. The series we saw yesterday and previous today has been so crazy games. Really, really crazy games. One of the games between Daniel and Leaks, come on. It was sick. Yesterday, I will upload it just uh, later on YouTube. Watch one game that I'm going to upload. Fire versus, well, I don't even remember the name, friend, the French players. It was uh, Margot. Margot. You know, Fire versus Margot. My goodness. My goodness, that game, you know? Okay. And now, three militias. Going forward already. Chart knows. That's why he's, he put two villages on goal. He has no loom. Oh my god, he's gonna block himself. No, 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 you need to go back. He's doing the loom now. And going to go up, probably. Yeah, but the problem... One village on Berry's only. Let me swim in. He's going up. Yes, he's going up. But Slam is being annoying. And look how smooth Slam gameplay right now. He took that ship. Loom. I'm going up 22 villages. Amazing. Really, really amazing. Even with the, with the barrack before the mill. That's just awesome. A, a, a recorded game to, to, to analyze. Seriously to analyze. He's not walling. He has to be careful with those hills. To don't get a hole. And now, Alicia. But, oh, I like this goal. Great decision. I believe that, oh, but he can see the goal too. Okay. Yeah, the time up is pretty much the same. It's only one villain behind. Okay. 
Yeah, now it's gonna be more aggressive. This is not cavalry saves, you know. I mean, you can always go scout if you want, but they are going completely different approach. We have the militias, potential men at arms, and he's ignoring here. So he's trying to go aggressive and going for the Canadian base. Oh, but he didn't find it. This is the worst that can happen. He's sending the militias in a good in the in the right direction. Yes, but he still didn't find anything. He's gonna make the men at arms. He is doing the men at arms and repairing the palisade here. Artillery range. And he's taking the deers as well. He has four villages on wood. Now more villages in the stragglers. And he finds now the scouts. The, the, the uh, slam base. Okay. This is so important. The mill. Mill is crucial. If a slam is not walling and he's not, it might take a couple of villages. Let's see if he's going to notice. Slam boy. Ooh, ooh. Gonna kill. Another hit. Got it. And now he takes the mill. This is disaster. And also denying the archery range. Denying the archery range is really, really big. Because his opponent got already the archery range up. And arches already inside. So, what he should do with those arches? Deal with this army. Or going forward. Oh, baby. Oh, really, baby. I don't know. Let's see what he's going to do. I think he should go aggressive. He's not doing any damage here. Like, he's just ripping. Well, it's true that he's not getting the food properly. Like, it's annoying. So maybe it's better to just to go to send them away. He's now with the men at arms attacking at the same time. And that's the problem. The multitasking here need to be on point. Not doing a spear. Bill is on the TC, maybe. No, no. Okay. Oh my god. He's creating a massive chaos on Islam economy. It's forcing him to move. Okay. Yeah. He stabilized double with tags now. Well, that's normal. Didn't make any arbor because he went fully aggressive. Now the men at arms are going to the other spot. His woodland is completely exposed. He needs to send the arches at the back. But he's still here, being annoying. He's gonna attack? No, no, no. And now the arches are there. Slam is stabilized a little. But. Let's check his point of view. Nah, it's four arches. He should be fine. It's no fletching, but it's four arches. He should be fine. Completely fine. Still mining gold in this area. No blast bit. He should do the blast bit right now. Fletching. Fletching for Islam. That's really good. Where's his blast bit? Here it is. But well, he's gonna take a lumber camp. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. 300 HP. The archers are coming. He's chasing the, those men at arms now, and time to go away. Well, with fletching, he might kill all. As you can see. That's why he stay and try to kill the archers. Won't happen. With four archers, he might do some damage, yes, but shouldn't kill. As you can see. Okay. Eh, all the units you pick is good, man. And this is another skirmishers down. And when you are going now with full archers... Every unit count. Every skirmisher count. The score say that Charlie is behind. That doesn't matter. He got a little bit more army slam, but more villages him. It's true that the slam killed 4-1. Four, uh, four it's because he take the, the men at arms, which is not doing a big impact. And it's starting to wall. Slam is starting to wall as well. It's not attacking. They are playing definitely the most, the most careful players. Very... Much more defensive. I mean, yesterday and today was crazy. They are playing much more defensive. As you can see, was trying to go aggressive, but now they stabilize. They wall all and not attacking. Well, Islam is trying to send some army. Maybe it's going to be in time. Actually, I think he will. And that's going to be huge for Islam. Yeah. Let me check if he can see it. Oh, don't watch, guys. Remember, don't watch for free for Byzantines, but can you wall? Yes. It's still not wall. 
make a market here. If he has the resources, I will do a market. But he doesn't have. And that target might go down. Okay, skirmishes are coming. Now nah, he's fine. He's completely fine. And in the other spot, Archers as well, but he got scout and skirmishers. Need to be careful. No, no, no. You don't want to fight against that. Chart, need to go back. Remember, guys, that Byzantine skirmishes are so cheap. So cheap. Seriously, so cheap, okay? Yeah. So, so cheap. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Amount of farming, more for a slam. Four villages behind, but he got wheelbarrow and horse collar. That's a solid economy. You know? I'm checking his resources. Slam economy, man. I told you. If you play if you play a standard against the Canadian, he's gonna get there, man. And Slam is on the way to Castle Age, man. On the way to Castle Age, man. Okay. Why no Age of Empires 4? <laughs> the question is, why yes? Yeah, I like that. Okay. And now, archers and skirmishers. Okay. Well, he's probably sitting here. Of course, I will stream uh, uh, Age of Empires 4. But honestly, Age of Empires 4 is not really for competition. It's not really, in my opinion, for tournaments. There's not even a spectator. So how we can, for example, cast uh, properly a 1v1 match when you cannot even see the resources for both players at the same time. And you cannot even see the population, you know? The game has potential, yes. It's really yet, no. That's my opinion, you know? And I personally like, right now, Age of Empires 2 much more than Age of Empires 4. But that question, when we are hosting a $75,000 tournament that's been there forever, it makes no, no sense. But I believe that who is asking is because probably didn't know that Age of Empires 2 is still very healthy with great tournaments, you know? So, if guys, if people is asking about Age of Empires 4, you have to explain then the, the, the real situation. Don't be mean, please, because there is a lot of people that don't know about the about the game and and so on, you know? Being said that, slam 37 villages, chart 40. Look at the amount of army. Crossbow and bot Kinaro Bozo. It's true that Chart bought it bought it the resources to go up. And now he's up. And Vietnam and Byzantines. I don't know what I prefer, to be honest. If they can go longer, probably Byzantines is better. I mean, they are so cheap, but the thing is, Slam is now playing very smooth. He killed one Velia here, one, one for both, okay. And Chart got the Skirmishers. With the plus one armor and Phallistic, okay. But these are the Skirmishers, you know? Hmm. <coughs> yeah, but Elephants in 1v1, you're not gonna see it, you know? You're not gonna see elephants, you know? Okay. Ballistic here, okay. Ballist uh, I mean, elephants is very expensive. You can see they have nine farmers, eight farmers. It's pretty much the same chart with more villages on wood. Two tone centers. Yeah, but two TCs when you don't have farms, probably you're gonna have either TC. Or he's gonna be able to produce. I told he's fine. He's producing villages from both. Nice. And Valistic as well. For chart. Both with the same. So now the micro is gonna be very important. Very nice because these games are much different with the previous two. It's completely different approach. Both as well. Will borrow the very, very close games. So now what? Siege Workshop. Ooh, he's doing a night slam. Interesting. 
but he need to put all the army together or those crowbars will suffer. The skirmishes are coming. Yeah, but the skirmishes are already there. Might kill. Yeah, yeah. Might kill, but he's taking all the crowbars. Look how fast he's slammed with the micro. He's being so fast, really. Killing a lot of crossbows. It's true that the KD is very similar. And now, just kill the knight. Yeah, the knight will, will, will just die. Yeah, the knight without any upgrade is just die. Kill it. He's gonna kill it or not? What? Kill the knight, man. But kill the knight. I know that you want to kill the crossbows, but the knight? Need to kill it. There you go. And now, we'll kill another. Perfect. Good battle for chart. Really good battle for chart. Now he need to make damage here. The problem with this army is that with a siege war shot, with a bangonel, he's gonna be fine. It will defend properly, I believe. Doing the third tone center. He's going to go around. Not really. Okay. Twenty-eight minutes. Fifty-seven villages, fifty-four. The game kind of stabilized right now. Obviously, two TCs. You might think eh, not that great, but remember that you does you don't need that many resources. Look, to go up is Byzantines. 600 food and you go Imperial. So imagine some kind of fast Imperial by, by, by chart. Slam is sending a couple of Knights. Those Knights are still without any upgrades. Might take it earlier. Let's see if he's gonna notice. Yeah, he did. Great. Uh, maybe not. Maybe he will lose. Okay, we'll lose the Knight. Oh, 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 he didn't take the earlier. Damn. Oh, wow. But the crows are coming. Let's see. If he's gonna notice. Wow, I mean, seriously. Byzantines with this upgrade, you can't surprise them. I mean, he can see everything. I don't know if he's gonna go back. He's doing the house, but. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. You see everything. It's Tom Patro for free, you know? Yeah, he's gonna get trapped now, as you said in the chat. Thumbrin, he's gonna got it. Gonna get it or not? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's trapped completely. But these mangonels. Okay, this is so important. But he has the heal advantage. Shouldn't delete that one. Let's see the micro. Let's see micro from chart. He's doing a good job. He got a lot of farming. Both got a lot of farming. Two mangoes. Skill advantage. The mangle is going to be there to try to hold back slam army. But mm, three mangoes already. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he need more. It is still okay. Five bullets behind. And then you got to say, no, he got three TCs. Doesn't matter. Why not? Because with two TCs, chart got one mini title TC. Slam got over six minutes. That's basically like not having an extra tone center. And guys, as I told you, there you go, Byzantines. He's on the way to Imperial Age. Come on. He's up to Imp with Mangonels, with Crossbow, with the Skirmishes. And the problem is that now the plus three is going to be so dominant here. Heal advantage, you don't kill the Mangonels, except that you delete. And the Skirmishes, sorry, Byzantines, you can spam trash forever. Forever and ever. But the slam is buying the resources to go up to Imperial as well. Oh boy. This is going to be close. It's really going to be close. And again, he can see the crossbows. You can't surprise against the Byzantines. He's trying to be sneaky the whole game. And he can't. Obviously, he forgot those two villains. He's doing the gold mining upgrade. And now, let's see what he's going to do. Oh baby. One for one. Slam is up too, but 50 seconds behind. He's gonna knock this villager down. He's not paying attention here. He's not paying attention, green. Green, green, green. It's a slippy. Or a sloppy one for one. He has to be careful. He's doing the castle. Ay, 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 ay. Let's see the bada boom. No. 
Oh, man. Okay. He lost it. Now he's going to lose the mangle. He can. He's sticking the villager. Going back. He got a lot of farming. And slam. Don't have the stone. Now he will to make the castle. Okay. And he's doing it again. All right. But guys, two, three arches doing the damage here. What the hell? Why he's moving 20 villages for two arches? Just send some army, man. Unbelievable. Still not attacking. And Islam getting the initiative here. Okay, Skirmish is going to clean. Vili is now... Look at the Vili's number, man. In this transition, Chart, it's maybe losing the game. He's, the, he's doing the castle here, but now 65 Vili's is too little. It's true that his resources are great. That's definitely... That's definitely truth. Plus three, Thambrin. And... After thumbing the Arbalest. Okay. More army, but you need to raid. If you don't raid, he got to get a castle in, in, in that hill. Still 10 seconds. And slam with the hand card too, even. Honestly, I don't know if Arbalest is needed here. He got, well, 11 cross, but he's fine. But chemistry here might be very, very important. Why? Because chart... Don't have a stone for a castle. Might lose this one. And he's trying to go aggressive. Going to do some damage. Well, three stables. Not really. Not doing a good job here. Chemistry now. And this army can create a lot of chaos. Well, this is this is wall. Oh my god. And he attacked the houses. He's like telling, ding, ding, ding. I'm coming. Ooh. No. The ground attack is not being used by Chart in the whole series. We have not seen a single ground attack. Now he's doing a tower. Two towers even. Mm. I'm, not I'm not sure about that. Okay. Arbales. Going to be bye-bye. Okay, he's doing the tower. The tower is going to be up. Not really. Okay, he will. But... Uh, Losing more and more villages. Nah, it's two towers. It's a good job. It's a really good job. And now, it's still losing more units. The score is still close. It's still 20 villages ahead. Yeah. But chart, 42 military. A lot of army. You know, really, really a lot of army. He's doing the skill bar in armor, but it's not an oath. He got the hill advantage. Okay. And that mangonel is going to take that mangonel as well. Has to be careful. He's gonna shoot the... Did you see what Chargius did with that Mangonel? I mean, did you see what Chargius did with the Mangonel? He deleted before shooting, man. What the hell? I mean, seriously. Deleted without... Without shooting. It's a new strategy, new meta. Okay. Unbelievable. Hate the delete trick, man. Yeah, anyway. Skirmish is skill advantage, and here you can kill a lot of villagers. He's gonna make it. Handed villagers. You know? But he still have good army, man. Slam is still without army. Three TCs. As I told you, Byzantine is so difficult. But he's sending light caps. Light caps with not a lot of upgrade. But guys, Slam is losing all. All the army, man. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Doing bomber cannons. But the bomber cannon uh, is, is wasted a lot. Okay, he's coming. Gonna kill more villages. Oof. The bomber cannon is... Is in danger. You don't want to lose the bomber cannon. Definitely not. He's killing villages to slam. Now he's attacking, raiding a lot. But is he microing? Not really. It's not microing. It's under the TCs. Just put it here and kill Billy's. The Bomber Cannon went super far. I like it. That was a good decision. Light caps without any protection. I don't know why he didn't wall this area. It's very weird that he didn't try to have a castle with Byzantines. The castle with Byzantines will help a lot. But now, Islam economy is much better. And it's forcing him to, to move. This is open to. He's having chart. He's having, in my opinion, a lot of small mistakes. 
I mean, not walling at all, leaving everything open. Then Islam has the mobility. The elite manual is when he's not shooting. He's still in the game because he still have 45 army. But if he was smoother with the gameplay, probably he should have gone the game already. Yeah, the Bomber Keanu is still lonely there. And you can see the light caps. Arvales are coming. He's still in the game because his amount of army is, is fantastic. He's great. But gonna lose the Bomber Cannon. Got it. Bomber Cannon down. And now he's coming with Light Cast Arboles. Slam is coming back from the hell. He lost the first game, but he's playing much smoother both the second and this one. You can see his 30 villains ahead. It's true that now, look at the army numbers. He's getting, yeah. No, no, Slam is, Slam is dominating. I told you guys, if Chart is playing this kind of a style, he won't have any chance. He won't have any chance. And Slam, it's now one win away to be in the main event. One win away to be in the main event. Let's go and check the statistics. Military, he killed more units, but the economy should be a big difference. Yes, 5,000 more resources, a lot more food, crazy amount of gold more, except wood. He got a lot more in everything, in everything, and he's almost there, slamming almost in main event, King of the Desert 4. Damn. All right, we have now game number four. I need to put the cap to raise because I closed it. I forgot. Thank you guys for, for the subs. Appreciate it. And here we are. Let's go. Chart kills Slam Tatars. Well, both civilizations are nice. But if they... Oh my god. Look at this map generation. Two woodlands that are fine. Gold is safe at the back. But... <laughs> back to the bubbly times. To the AOC. With the Oasis. You know, also oasis for slam as well. One wood on the left, one on the right. Goal on a side, super open. Another wood at the back. Berries at the back is good. You know, both maps are quite dangerous. It's okay. The goal is nice. Berries is, is dangerous. But now here the goal is more exposed. And here the berries are so, so nice. Okay. It's going to make the lumber camp here probably. The stone is at the back. <gasps> this is... <laughs> Guys, look who is here. Yellow Bamu. Halloween, guys. He just, he just scared me, man. He scared me, man. Ponte aquí. Pasa, pasa, Marta, ven, que te vea. Look at my boy. Let's put bigger. Guys, I sc it is scared me, man. Hola, mojón. <laughs> no diga eso, no. Nadie te quiere, papi. <laughs> ¿Cómo? Que nadie me quiere, dice. Y tu casitore no te quiere. <risa> my son. Y tus, y tus amigos no te quieren. My, <risa> my son, you said not ¡Adiós! even. Well, it's crazy. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. My son, you said not even your subscribers love you. My son, you said not even your subscribers love you. Five years old, you know? Unbelievable, you know? He said, nobody love you because, I, you know why he's telling me this? Because I'm, I'm staying home, they are going party now. So he's telling me, nobody love you. Not even your subscribers love you. And we are going, you know? Okay, okay. Okay, well. You know, they are, but they are so pretty, you know? They are so pretty. Let's keep going with the decider. Sorry for the small break. Hopefully you understand that uh, these kind of things, uh, you know? I'm trying to make professional streams, but uh, I'm not Red Bull. I'm not Microsoft, you know? This is still a, a family channel. And then these kind of things, you know, can happen in the middle of the stream. Hopefully, hopefully you understand. Anyway, let's go and see Kels and Tatars, okay? He's gonna send now the Sebras 
Uh, see? Yes. I was talking about the civilizations. I mean, if you think that Kells is very dangerous, I honestly, with a standard gameplay, I prefer Tatars here. Because if you get Castle, it's faster. Oof. Tatars with Thumbrin, it's going to be so, so, compl so complicated, you know? It's going to be really complicated to stop. But if Chart is playing aggressive and get the small advantage and get Castle is faster, try to stop the Kells, the Siege Kells. It's a tricky, it's a tricky matchup. Let's see. Thank you so much for that donation, okay? Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the four euros, man. Awesome. It was four, I think. I don't see without glasses. So, sorry. Since there's no sound, I'm, I cannot see the monitor. The further monitor, I cannot see it. Okay. Elephant under the TC. Okay. Barrack house. And now chart. Is doing militias already? No, no. He's doing the barrack now. And both are going to go up. Oof. This is so difficult to wall, man. We got we got to see aggression. And Islam is getting closer. Getting really, really closer to be there. Okay. He's gonna palisade it or not. Hmm. When is Hoan playing? Hoan sign up, but he didn't make the check in, if I'm not wrong. Hoan is bye bye. Anyway, Hoan without Kells is uh, like me without a Scarlet. Nothing. Oof, I was checking if my wife was still there, man. Ha! Anyway, let's see. Four villages on berries, three villages on gold. Okay, seven villages on wood. Palisade. <laughs> anyway, three militias. Going to go now with... Uh, yeah, yeah, both with Manhattan's. But remember that now Kells, after 25 seconds, will get militias faster, you know? Much faster. Yeah, it's not family anymore. Now we need to focus in the game. And in the meme. In the meme. Okay, be careful. Uh-oh. What's joking, man? Yeah, look, look, look at the speed, man. It's even faster than the scout, almost. Yeah, but the timing is being great here for... for Slam. Because now he keep at home. You know? This is what you want to have. And this is why you need to have the scout with the three militias. Because if not, you take all the damage here. Yeah, man, Atamshi is going to be there. I don't know if he's going to be able to make more militias. No, no food. Well, he could do it. He has two villages on the queue. Oh, Islam failed there. Islam failed there. Didn't patrol. And now that he was ahead, he's going to... Eh, actually, eh, it's very similar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he was ahead. And at the end, it's very similar. Not a problem. One, one Menatam alive and the scout is okay. And the Menatam with half HP. Well, a little bit less than... Uh, than half or more than half in this case anyway archers but th this is the problem you are not ahead anymore with the kells and then tatars dominate why tatars get also all the herdables you know that has 50 percent more food you know that helps with the economy it's true that kells got the bonus the the wood bonus But I don't know. I, I prefer Tatars here in this situation. Also, guys, forgot to mention heal advantage. You get the heal advantage here in this Arabia with Tatars should be very popular. I forgot to, about that. 25% more damage with the heal, you know? So imagine if he just keep the heal here with uh, already Blasmith and doing the fletching. Okay, he will wall everything. Yeah, little by little, wall and everything. I didn't make bettings. 
Oh, I didn't pay the bettings for the previous from the previous game, guys. I, I forgot to pay the bet in the previous game, right? Okay. You also got bettings now. One minute for the bettings. You got two bettings. The Twitch one and the Membureos. One minute only. Okay, Optium 1 Slam, Optium 2 Chart with the Membureos. Go, go, go. And Slam is coming. Got the scout. Slam is playing much, much smoother now. We see how almost no idle TC. He's coming. And the arch is here. If he's taking a good micro, it's going to be a big problem. A real big problem. Okay. Uh-oh. He's going back. Has to be really careful. He's getting those. Got it. A lot of archers. Gonna take that Velir. He's gonna take it or not? The scout is down. And... No, he need to go back. He got a lot of archers here. But what I told you about the economy. Look at Tatar's economy. It looks very smooth. Really, really smooth, and now coming with another two arches, he's doing the market, this truth. Maybe he's gonna sell the stone? Who knows? Maybe he will. I don't know. Doing the market that early? Mm. It's not too it yet. Doing wood barrel, slam boy. He has a lot of farms, only one archer range. Still wall. And this is a second archery range. All right. But with heal advantage, he's just trying to get time to go up. Yeah, this is so annoying. Look at the Lambriax. How annoying it is. It's good that he has the archer here. Okay. What? I told you guys. He was going to, to sell the stone. Memstradamus in the house. He sell the stone and he's on the way to Castleage. And here is where the Celts can be dangerous. Can be really, really dangerous. Obviously, Tatar is going to go up too. Slam got Will Barrow, but he's going slower up. Mm. Anyway, you need to go aggressive. If you are not going aggressive, oh man, it's going to be Dangerous, man. It's gonna be dangerous. So. Nail hit! Thank you, man! Menstradamus! Okay. One minute, 20 seconds. Okay. He should be careful here. Three villages. Three villages difference only. Military numbers, as you can see, is not that big. But if he catch up now and has some problems. Don't think... Well, it's good that he take this battle. Because remember that automatically when Slam gets Castellage, he gets Thumbrin. But Slam got a lot of farming. That's awesome. He wants to keep him at home. He's doing an amazing job. He need to... You see, he was sending forward village, but he can't. He can't do the job. He's killing a lot. 8-4 already. And look at the arches. Yeah, he's in castle. But now, got to stay defensive. And when you are with the Celts, you want to go all in, all aggressive. And now he can't. He's doing the crossbows, but he got 10. Slam 17. See you are shop at home. And now... Just look at the resources he has. And not even a stone. He bought it a stone already. Yeah. For doing TCs. Oh. Oh. No. A slam go there. Oh. My. oh! Well. It's also true that he did the crossbows and the bot can arrow faster. But I think he got a lot more army. Eh, 
might, might be the good decision by Slam. If you think twice, I was a little bit overexcited there because he got the army here. So actually he was expecting that and then now he need to go around. Yeah, Islam did the right choice. He did the right choice. Nice. Nice split, but those two scorpions and they shoot super fast. That he has any stable? No. So he's gonna keep going with crossbows or cavars since they, they have mobility. A stable is needed. Bloodless and husbandry, obviously. And this is open here. Oh my god, Islam. I don't want to check Islam base. I'm telling you. Don't wanna check. The score say that Islam is ahead, which is kinda tricky. Eightville is more. It's true that he got Will Barrow. But check in the minimap. I'm not gonna check there. Don't want to check. Don't want to check. Don't want to check. Okay, I will check. <laughs> I need to check, man. Okay, one villager down. No! Didn't kill anything. Amazing reaction. Amazing reaction there by Slam, really. I know he got the crossbow too. He got the thumbprint. Should be fine. Now, should be used fine. Scorpions are going to be down. Why he's not repairing, I don't know. He's being really annoying. And now with the heal advantage. No, man. Slam is doing an amazing job with the micro. Slam is controlling the units like God. We all know that he's really good with that one. He's really, really good with the micro. He's sending another scorpion. It's gonna be an oath. Mm. With one, no. And now he's chasing. Military numbers, 626. I mean, 626. Boom, better for chart. So he need more scorpions and probably more mangroves. Let's see the dancing. Look at the split units. He's trying to micro. Is in the disco slam? No. He's playing Age of Empires, but he's dancing like if he was in the disco with the units. And it's very difficult. Look at this. And again, but the problem now is that these three Scorpions, oh my goodness. He's doing a good job, yes. But these three, look at the Scorpions, man. This is not AOE anymore. This is Star Wars. They are shooting so fast. Okay, going back. And those archers going to go down. It's so many Scorpions. Yeah, great stuff. Kells are so strong with the siege. That's why some knights would be great. But the boom, chart boom, solid. Still slam trying to raid. Okay. Two scorpions and here. Yeah. Eight farmers only. Doing now the second tone set. No, the 30 C, okay. Still with the crossbows, need to be careful, going to zoom out a little. Guys, for those people that is listening now the, the, the stream and you see the music in the background, medieval total war music. I really like this, I've been using it for many years and I was thinking to change, but then I couldn't because I'm addicted, like with the Age of Empires 2 with the medieval total war music just for let you know your information all right scorpions on the left and what is he going to do now mangonel and scorpion scorpions as well let's see this oh my god oh man okay that's a that's a good shot but he killed he killed those he's so many units imagine that now islam is bringing a siege as well okay he's losing a lot with Thumbrin. Thumbrin and Ballistic is helping massively, even against the Siege, really. Still need to mass more. Now, check the village is different. It's getting closer and closer. Eight village is different only. And remember that he got Will Barrow. No Will Barrow for, for chart. Hmm. Obviously, transition to Imperial here is going to be very important. Slam is trying to attack constantly. Still without uh, no bloodlines. Well, he has no stable, right? No. No stable. No stable at all. Quite a lot of gold. Hmm. Is he gonna go up? I think he should keep going full army. Like, make the stable and, and keep going with uh, fully abraded cab archers. It's true that it's tricky playing against the Celts. When you know that the Kels is 
under three TCs for a long time and booming. You might think, okay, he's gonna drop a castle soon, then he's gonna go Imp, Onagers, and this is probably what he's trying because he has already 12 villages on stone, but guys, Slam with a smooth transition to Imperial Age. Look at those resources, holy moly. He probably is stopping, yeah, idling the, the TCs on purpose, absolutely. And he's going to go up. Not with the greatest economy, because he has 75 bellies only, but how do you stop those units when you get party and tactics for free and you go plus three as well? So difficult, very difficult. It's also true that the castle will happen from Chard. Where is he going to make it? Here, for example, to protect this area in this, in this hill at home? What I say, guys, in this area, man. Castle in this area. The Menstradamus is still on point. Vamos. This is three, four, six scorpions, three monks, and a lot of villages. This area makes sense. You protect the goal, and you are also locking the path to go here with all the units. Okay. But if he's killing those scorpions and not doing the castle... No, no, but he's repairing. He's fine. And now three monks. He needs to go back. Slam needs to go back. You can see how Slam is on the way to Imperial, but Green is about to go up to Imperial as well. Now the Cavarses with the Hill are just doing an amazing job keeping Chart Lock at home. Yes, but he has 10 villages more. Eh, still not, not much more, honestly. He did the wheelbarrow already, but um, I don't know. Yeah, very interesting game. Really, really interesting. Completely different civilizations the problem is that with 23 farmers even if he's going up to imperial he won't have a lot of food and he will need donegers the the kells don't have mobility you know he's doing the bloodlines now hand cart okay now let's see Jim. it's two minutes difference he need to raid man Need to raid. He has 13 villages on stone. A castle obviously is gonna be needed. Where to make the castle? I think here is perfect. It's a good spot. Or not. He's gonna go forward? Maybe in this area? Or even more forward? Hmm. Well, those cab arches look plus four for free right away. That's amazing. He's doing plus three and now husbandry. But where he's trying to attack? He's trying to go to this side. He can't. The good thing, I mean, with this castle, he's protecting everything, honestly. He's protecting everything. Do you need to go? Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay. Pikeman upgrade, but those cab arches now. Ay, ay, ay. It's going to kill so many. This will be about castle. If he micro properly, I think he should kill a lot. So kill those villages. Village number getting closer. Yeah, and with the plus four, the scorpions shouldn't kill the cab archers. Like, not that easy. You know, he's going back. Okay. I think he could kill. I don't know why Islam didn't commit. Because he got the army. He really got the army to kill everything. In my opinion, you know. Kill the scorpion. Got it. Kill more villages. Yes. But for scorpions, he's going to do it. One more down. Two more down. Three more down. Imagine if he stay all the time. He could have killed all. I, I'm sure about that. I think he was a little bit scary. Chemistry. Scale bar and armor. That castle in front. Very dangerous. Now trebuchet. But the problem is. If you make traps. Yeah. But how do you defend those traps? This is a lot of farming from Islam. Islam is doing an amazing game in this one. Being really aggressive. He couldn't be even more aggressive. Because Chart got so many scorpions. This is looking so good. GG! Slam Boy did an amazing comeback and took the game. And he's in the main event. The Canadian did the job. And I told you from the start, if Chart is not doing anything special, seriously, Slam is a better player. And he saw it that he feels good. He feels good. And let's see the resources. I think we can... Try to talk with Islam to see how he feel. Okay? 3-1 for Islam, who is in the main event. Thumb up on YouTube, amigos.